Right, guys, welcome back. This is the Above Average FPL podcast. My name's Adam, and welcome back to Baker. Baker, how you doing, mate? You right? Good to be back, mate. Good to be back. It feels weird. Like even though it's like a week, I'm like, have we checked sound here? We no, no, no. Him? We just, we just fully in. But I'm joking. I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the, uh, <laughs> the little audio bars and there, and they're going up and down, which is a good thing. Yeah. Apparently. So we should be yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, obviously we've got a quick turnaround with game week thirty one starting on Tuesday, yeah. um, Easter weekend as well. So you know it's been busy. Um, I got out on the golf You've course. You've been busy. Well, I got yeah, out on the golf right. course. Yeah, got on the golf course. Been podding, podding with all our friends. Yeah, yeah, that was good. And um, the one with Pete was like, I'm not going to say that Pete's was better than Hibos or anything like that. But having you having Pete on, you've literally I've just not, said that. That's not what I'm you've saying. You've literally just said no, 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 no. But we've had Hibbo. No, that's not what I said. Hibbo's been on before, and it's always good to speak to Hibbo. But getting Pete on the camera and speaking to everyone was great. And it was good um, winding people up, trying to work out who it was that was coming on. And uh, one of the guys in Discord was like, oh, it's probably someone really underwhelming. And Pete's in the Discord <laughs> as well. <laughs> Just looking at that going. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I gave it away almost to them because I said, what if it was someone in here? And you've just said it's underwhelming. And it was. But it was Don't great. Like, I thought like I thought Pete was going to be all nervous because the fact is you built it all up, but then he comes on, right? And I'm thinking, well, he's just got his app, but no, no, no. Pete's got all the mic. He, what was that nice little neon sign he got? <laughs> no. Where are we getting them from, Pete? Oh, I don't the know. Neon yeah, signs. we need a, we need a link to those. We need a link to one. We need a link to get one of those. Absolutely do. <laughs> um, how was your holiday? Yeah, really good, really good. It was it was oh, we were really nervous about it. It's like um. I mean, you know, but probably the, uh, people that listen to us don't know, but uh, Eddie, our kid's five. It's our first uh, holiday away. Eddie's autistic and routine is just everything um, with him. So we've tried breaks away in the UK and a lot of times we've come home early because it's just, it's it's tough on him. You know, it, it is, but he did so well. Like he, he did so well, so proud. So yeah, in fact, is he had a good holiday. We have a good holiday. So, and it was just, just, just good to be away, mate. Yeah, and it was really good to fly home and not know anything about the three o'clocks. Yeah, I like, guess that would have been weird. It was weird. <clears throat> it was proper weird. Like, like so. Yeah, we flew um, at half time. I literally saw the saw the notification for the Kudos goal, and then that was it. Radio oh. silence until came in, and it was full time by the time we landed. Um, I mean, I. In that last sort of half hour, as we were coming down to land, I started playing through my head. Well, what was this? What's this? What's this? And then you looked at it and you were like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. First, literally, first thing I saw, first tweet I saw was Andy, let's talk FPL, say Gusto, Gusto going off injured. Yeah. Was <laughs> perfect. <laughs> the game that keeps on giving. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. Tough. It's tough and, and weird because I was I was at Pitodri, which is um, for anyone who doesn't know that's Aberdeen's uh, home stadium. Mm-hmm. So I took my little one down there. They did a big sort of primary school Don's Day Out um, jobby, which was was great. She got well into it as well. She really enjoyed it. And so, you know, I basically the game kicked off, and you know what I'm always doing anyway is I'm always just checking my phone. The game kicked off. I was like, oh, I wonder if the Premier League games kicked off. Look down, Tottenham nil, Luton one. I was like, what the fuck has gone on? <laughs> how, has, how has that happened already? Um, so that sort of set the tone as to how I was feeling about that. But, you know, not watching Spurs actually live. I think that's probably the first time this season. It feels really, <laughs> really weird. Um, oh, before we before we carry on, um, Matt Evans dropped a, uh, a super chat uh, that said, Happy Easter. Is, uh, is Jesus nailed? That's the way we're starting, is it? That's that's. I mean, it's a super chat. You have got to read it out. That's the rules. That's the way we're starting. That's, and that's FPL California also just super chat saying good to see everyone. Much more <laughs> safety first. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So shout out to you guys. Thanks so much for your um, for your support there. That's great. Uh, and yeah, because Saturday I thought I, th- I thought Saturday went qu- went okay actually from a game week perspective. I thought it went okay. Like the three o'clock seemed to go okay. And then everything kind of yeah, went downhill. None of the bad bad people played at three o'clock. There wasn't really anyone that was going to hurt you at three o'clock. <laughs> no. And then then afterwards you were like, oh, hold on, hold on. There's there's a lot of big guys to still play, and there's but but it's 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 a it's a nothing week for a lot of people. Those that wild carded have had a fantastic week. Like it's oh, been a really Salah, superb week. Isaac, like it's just been fun. I love that. I love that. It doesn't matter what though. 
if you have wild carded, the first thing you have to do to defend yourself is to claim that it was terrible. So, so people are saying, like, oh my God, I've wild card and I've got Gusto and Los Sales injured. What, you got your fourth and fifth defenders injured? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you got, have you got, have you got Watkins? Nah. Have you got Isaac? Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> have you got Salah, Sun and, and Palmer? Yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, I've got them all. <laughs> yeah. Have you, have you got, as I have a big stinking green arrow? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, could you have? Could you? Did you get fifteen to twenty points above most people and can afford the hits anyway to take out the own players that everyone else got? Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, so yeah, don't give us that. Um, yeah, it's been it's been been a really good wild card week. Yeah, agreed. Um, agreed. So okay, so let's let's cover what we're going to do today because there's a lot going on. Obviously, good deadline is on Tuesday. Um, I've got yep. family here, so if you can see, I haven't got any lights on behind me because this is a bed at the moment. Um, so I need to get, uh, we need to get through the pod as quickly as possible. We'll still be detailed, but get through as quickly as possible. So yeah. we'll go for our game week scores. Um, we'll go through the fantasy challenge. Um, the game week scores uh, was like, if you predicted like how many points we were going to score as, a com com uh, as combined, then you'd win a, a year subscription to FBL.team courtesy of Pete, and um, which I basically uh offered on his behalf <laughs> live on stream so you couldn't say no and then we'll go through the games um we'll update the the leagues that we've got going on as well we can look at the ticker as as and when we need to because i've updated that and then we can look at our teams for game week 31 because we have moved slash are moving i've done my moves i am in well, and uh yeah I'll, so i will likely be doing mine and you're gonna disclose it anyway exactly we should, well that's the whole point should... of this one right sort of did for me on the last one and it didn't work out so i'm not sure if there's a good news now well, i told you to bench saka did you do that you did i did do that but i played garnacho who oh, got right, two points less yeah that's yeah <laughs> that's annoying um uh, so let's start with this week's game week and we'll start with me because i didn't score as many points as you so my score 54 um, I had Neto in goal, Gusto, Van Dyke, and Richards. Bit annoying, um, given that I've got Raya and Gabriel on the bench. But, you know, it's the fixture, right? So you have to play that fixture. As much as it looks like our oh, biased Tottenham fan, uh, City are the best attacking team in the league. So Arsenal are the best defensive team in the league. There is obviously that offset. Um, so, yeah, frustrating there. Only four points from a back of oh, six points, including the keeper. Garnacho for a point. A bit annoying. Madison two. Son captain twenty. Palmer fifteen. There was a, there was something actually. Some I saw this after the deadline, which was a bit annoying. Palmer is basically the new Chelsea Mason Mount. Like he just bullies promoted sides, particularly at home. He's like double returned in every single game against them. Why did why did why did we not see that before the deadline? Because otherwise, I'd have just captained him. I think I might not. Have I think there, yeah. I think there is still that <laughs> price piece that price we can't check. Trust. We don't trust Chelsea. Well, is that like, like, let's. That I mean, we can argue and say, was it a penalty? Oh, we can talk about that. Uh, yeah, exactly. And then if it's not a penalty, and then therefore they've got one, they've got eleven pl players on the pitch, and then they haven't. Then maybe he doesn't do any of that stuff. Yeah. Butterfly effect. Yeah, I mean, at the yeah. same at the same time, we used to pick Kane and Son when Spurs were bad because they everything just went through them regardless yeah, so there is there is a bit of talismanic stuff in there yeah so i also had solanke uh harlan and watkins as my front three as i've mentioned raya saka uh doughty on the bench obviously with the tottenham game and gabrielle 54 points red arrow rubbish um so we'll talk about what moves i've made already you can see already that uh keith barron 4437 and uh, mike hamilton 7487 i don't know why you get these random numbers but you guys Guessed 114 points. I haven't seen either of you in the chat yet today, so you'll probably pick this up um, after the fact, which is cool. But just get in contact with us, and you can do that through Twitter or X. Um, you can DM myself at, at Above Average FPL, or you can DM Baker at Baker FPL 343, or you can just drop us an email just above the average FPL at gmail.com, and we'll sort it all out for both of you. Um, and Pete, we'll sort out that out with you separately, but we'll sort that we'll sort that out. So well done to well done to both of you guys. 114 points, and there's a bit of a spoiler there because I got 54, which means you've got 
60. Which isn't much difference in, in it in that. But basically the difference in this is that I played Gabriel. Um yeah. uh, and you played Van Dyke, which should have been the better play, but Gabriel obviously turns in with six points. Um but yeah, similar. I I was looking at Bradley. I ended up not so sure on Bradley. Um because I really wanted the 32 game for Gusto. Mm. Um, that was the bit that swayed me. I was thinking, I can bench an Arsenal defender away at Brighton, play Gusto. He's going to go up in some prices. I can just keep him through 34 anyway. Um, and yeah, have him ready for the, for the wild card, but at a cheap price. Um, ended up not working out very well, Gusto. So yeah, my two decisions were Gusto in for Ake. One point is all round there, but transfer used. Um, and then it was play Garnacho or play Saka. I played Garnacho. I actually got one point. So yeah, Saturday night. I, to be honest, like I haven't been away for a week, and then came back and then saw that. And then when Garnacho went off, like I felt pretty. I was like, this game, mate. I've just had a nice week away, and now I'm fuming because the two decisions I had in there both ended up in one pointers, and I was like, sulky. Um, but it's what it is. It's quite it's a lot of decisions like, that just end up with, like, as you say, the game, we're ending up with just players that you think are like rock solid. Like Garnacho, you feel like he's like a rock solid 70, 75 minute guy. It's been nine know. minutes almost every game, but yeah. literally, but he is like starting every single game. And then um, I did see a couple of Man United sort of like people that I follow had said, boy, Nacho's looking a bit leggy, maybe bring Anthony on early on. Mm. And I was like, Oh, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, and it did happen. Yeah, I didn't even um, mention. I didn't even mention. I I brought Richards in for Kirkes, who wasn't, who was not supposed to be fit or whatever, and then started, and then comes off in the sixty third minute before they concede. Anyway, bastard. Okay, it is what it is. And it you had the same. Is. You had the same like Son Palmer, Solanke, Watkins, Harland combination. Yeah, which is the same, same as time. everyone else. So in terms of the leagues, so we've got the public league. So John O'Shea is still winning that um, on 1,979 points. He is currently 46th in the world. Uh, second, Nkunku Kamba. Uh, I can't even say that properly. Have I said that? I don't know. That's enough. Cool. Um, Adam. Uh, yeah, Adam Harvey. So Red Ribbon Army, Christian, and then Variance FC. Henry and Mother Tribe, Arush. You guys are the top five in the main League and then on our Discord league. So Erky is still smashing it. He is 72nd in the world, 1,973 points. And then Kev is second and Sam third. And then Philip fourth and Crypto Block Dan in fifth. What have we created a monster? We have. (laughs) We have created a monster. Well, this is, this is, this is why he, uh, this is why he supports us, right? So that we can give him the advice and that he can beat us. That's, Pretty much it. That's the way. And it's working. That's the way. So what I'm doing. him in. So now you've got to stay for years, Dan. Yeah. Keep supporting yeah. us. Forever. <laughs> uh we obviously had the fantasy challenge. Um we haven't done much on that, but I don't even know whether you submitted a team into the into the, our league. I don't even know. Um I'm in our league and I was like fifty five points or something like that. But I said we were gonna do something different where like the top ten get like Formula One style points. And uh, then yeah, we're just like going to top it. it up over the season, over the rest of the season, because it's just a, you know, it's a beta test and whatever. Um, but a couple of guys that we do know in here, Michael Saville there in second with 92 points and FPL champion, Jamie Piggott there in ninth. Um, but well shout done, out to boys, both, both Spurs boys as well. Both Spurs so boys. We... Um, but shout out to, to Neil Johnson, Atletico Big Tasty, 97 points. Good week. Really good week. Uh, well done to you. Um, yeah. And we say we'll keep we'll keep a track of who's getting what points. Um, so Neil, if you can get in touch with me, uh, did I, I can't even remember who I'm supposed to give stuff away to, but I think Neil, if you get in touch with me, then I'll send you some coasters. Basically, I definitely say coasters every week. So Neil, send me a message. I'll send you some yep. coasters. Yep. Cool. Um, just having a quick check, making sure we haven't frozen, which we haven't. So that's good. <laughs> and then I guess we can move on to the games. Which game would you like to start with? Sir, let's let's try and run through them backwards. Let's try and run through them backwards because we won't, we shouldn't need to take very long over the first one. Cool. So Man City nil, Arsenal nil. Um, 
kind of, weirdly, this is a game that kind of played out how it felt like it should have played out. Yeah, it it really did. It wasn't. It was never going to be open. It was always going to be. Mm-hmm. It was always going to be you know a, a bit of a bit of mind games from Arteta, and he did a very similar thing at home, but obviously got the opportunity to score at home. But they were never going to go to the Etihad and dominate ever. No, I, 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 my own disappointment really here is that Pep didn't start Doku. It, genuinely disappointment because I think everyone in their dog knew that Arsenal would sit in on this. Mm. They would put everyone behind the ball, um, and you like this was definitely you were going to play a low block team. Uh, um, like uh, that perfect tweet if, if you've seen it that that, that um. Someone tweeted about, you know, we're watching the best out of team position and out of team possession team in the world um, in out Arsenal. Of team. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, someone quote tweeted it and said people used to call that parking the bus um, <laughs> <laughs> because that's what they did. They just yeah. put eleven men behind the ball, you know, and and hoped that they would do something silly. You know, that's that's how it was. Um, but they're really bloody good at it incredibly good at it they restricted man city to very little um i just would have got doku on really if you needed to start him just needed him on so quickly and you need Foden central like, i just feel like he just overthinks it Pep all the time um because he needed to win you know if, if there was one that needed to win out of this yeah it was it's, city it's city um but I don't feel like he went. I don't feel like he went in with a team that 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 wasn't capable of winning the game, though. It wasn't capable of winning the game, but they had no pace. It, it like, was it was pretty slow if you think Bernardo and no KDB pace and whatsoever. Like you didn't even have Alvarez pulling people left, right, and centre, pulling people around. Nothing like that. Nothing, nothing. And you saw just a bit of pace in that second half. I mean, if Trossard, Trossard, it's it's actually disgusting that Trossard didn't put Martinelli in at the end, like on on that break. Um, but it's just standard Trossard he plays like an eight year old he's, he, he got no interest whatsoever in trying to pass he was just like I'm going to try and it's like oh it went behind him he didn't he just he, he had no care that, that Martin he was wide open he was just like I'm going to go and shoot um, but yeah what what you take from it Vardy or back yeah he, like he's definitely one on the radar from City for uh, for for that double because he's so high all the time. Like he was the one that actually looked like he was trying to get him behind. Yeah, and he likes to he likes to shoot a as Kanji. well. A Kanji, a Kanji, right back. It was just like a weird tank, wasn't it? Like like um, it was so awkward when he was trying to get round um, Kiwior. Like it's just like, what are you doing? Yeah, it's just weird. It didn't make, it didn't make sense. No, you're right. I mean. Yeah, he should have introduced Doku a lot earlier and Grealish as well. I mean, just something just to get. And, you know, they yeah. created a lot of space um, behind, a lot more space behind Arsenal in that second half once they were there. They just yeah. couldn't, there was just, they just, as you say, they were so packed into that box, so well drilled into that box. Like, even like cutbacks to, they, they'd closed all lanes, like across, all lanes. Going, across the, going across the box, corridor of uncertainty, didn't exist. Cutbacks. That that line didn't exist. No. Two brilliant sixes in Jorginho and Rice. Like just yeah. I'm gonna sit there in front of two brilliant centre backs and it's like, go on then. No chance. Um I think so I, I'll disclaim now, so so it's out there that I'm going to sell Foden this week. Um but I think the Foden matchup against Villa is fantastic. Um, I just, for me, I, I'm just loyal to Sun. So uh, if because I have the option of Foden or Sun, I'm going to keep Sun. Okay. Um, but I think I think it's a really good game for Foden. I wouldn't fire sell it. Um, but if we then go to the next game, which is Liverpool. We can do that. Like. Liverpool might massively rotate Thursday night, mightn't they? Mm-hmm. They might. They might. But what if they don't? <laughs> they could they could do. They definitely they definitely could do. We could do we could we could see I mean, I think you'll start with Salah anyway, because Salah's not had a load of game time recently, right? 
So I don't think there's any reason why you would rest Salah. Nunes, again, I don't see why unless... No, I don't, I don't, see, why he, I don't see why he would. He's just going to want... Diaz might get a rest. But none of them like it. Like, he's just... I feel like he's just going to keep pushing them out. Um, I mean, they do... I mean, like, they all have to win every game. <clears throat> All three of those, all three of those teams need to win every game to win the league. This, this was just watching the in this game was just. It actually made me feel a little bit. I was like, am I feeling a bit sick? Like, have I got a bug from coming back or stuff? And I think it was just I was feeling genuinely sick at the idea that I did not have any Liverpool players in this game. Mm. Bradley made me feel sick that I didn't own him. Like every set piece made me feel sick that I didn't have Van Dyke. You know, every attack may be sick that I didn't have any other front three. Like, these are just disgusting. How it's uh, like the aggression in how they attack. They've Endo is just, Endo's just unbelievable as a six. Like, he's just enabling he, everything. He's like, he's like their new, their new, everything. their new Henderson. When you think about how bad it was when McAllister was playing as a six, like, and it was just, sluggish and horrible and now you've got this magnificent McAllister yeah just doing whatever just he likes yeah just cre- yeah on the half turn and just driving into space and you know looking for Sal- I mean Salah we can I mean that was like ridiculous what did he finish in the BPS like 13 something like that did it finish? I saw at one point it was 15 I think I it was, was I think it was 13 which I mean is, yeah. is incredibly impressive given that you score six points for play 27 he'd got and then, tw- and then, and then twenty-one goal. for his goal because he got the yeah. goal-winning game-winning goal. Insane! Um, it's just, it's just mental. I mean, yeah. I mean, the FPL Spartans have put Bradley two BPS. I mean, two bonus points. I mean, it makes sense because that's the position where you know that the Liverpool do create from. They create yeah, from that area. Everything goes for the ball. Yeah, well, because Gomez, well, Gomez just, was playing. He's a makeshift he left back. He was playing an 8-2. Like, he was always playing like an 8 as well. He was in. Yeah. He was right in the centre of midfield. Um, Him and Endo basically played as two sixes in front of the two centre-backs. And then Bradley was as far forward as Diaz. Like, he was literally yeah on it. Uh, obviously, so he was obviously like exposed the, for the goal, right? right? Which is no different oh, yeah. from what Trent does anyway. He did no defending. <laughs> he did no defending. It's um, yeah, they were just, they were just, they were just ridiculous. I mean, it was funny because people were saying like Brighton's XGC was pretty good leading up to this game, like, and it wasn't too bad. But Liverpool were just like outstanding going forward. Yeah, yeah, and forget, don't forget, like we've got like a you know a disallowed goal that's pretty pretty minute yeah, you know in terms close. of how far that is and just just how much they got through them and i thought brighton i thought brighton played really well they they play against the press so good like the number of times they got through the press and, and got out was like it was really impressive yeah um but liverpool were just like it's a weird feeling for me to have watched that game today and for me to have been like i really want liverpool to win the league yeah <laughs> can you not want Liverpool to win the league playing like this like it like especially when you watch the game after it you were like this is the team you want to see win the league they, they were yep. they were incredible they were incredible I want as much of it as possible um, might want all three attackers uh, is my takeaway from it might want all three that's fair and, and then just keep the Arsenal defence yeah basically that yeah, I mean, like not? Liverpool, today, best atta- Liverpool are one of the best attacking teams in the league. Arsenal, the best defensive team in the league. Just take take that and run, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. Exa- yeah. Oh, yeah. FPL Bruno is mentioning Verbruggen, the absolute hero. Like he made a he made a save from he made one particular save from Salah, which I was like, oh my god, thank you so much. It's even behind him. Oh, I it's, it's so unreal. Good. Unreal. Yeah, so good. And so good. Yeah, there's there's. Obviously, Salah gets more shots. I saw someone saying Salah got more shots than like seven teams this weekend or something like that. Um, so yeah, he's uh, he, he's in. <laughs> this works out really well in terms of the scheduling, but even if even if they do rotate him on Thursday night, which I don't think they will, and even if they do, they might. Most of those players are still going to get thirty minutes. Thirty minutes against Sheffield United would do us fine. Yeah. It would do us fine. Like. 
I, I just don't know how you go against it. But then the next game, well, we might as well move on to the next game on this, which is uh, go back to last night, which is Man United versus Brentford. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, I, I haven't seen, yeah, I haven't seen a chart quite like this. So um, for those listening, Brentford, uh, obviously the score was 1-1. In terms of XG, Brighton put, uh, Brentford put up 2.6. Uh, Man United put up half. And I mean, it's not your shots. typical. Yeah, exactly. No. It's not. It's not your typical Brentford performance in terms of creating high, lots of high quality chances, except for the ones that they score from, <laughs> like like the ones that matter. Like the, obviously the Aya goal. I was I was raging when Mount scored. Raging. <laughs> I genuinely was raging. I actually was like because it just was so unjust for how yeah. well they played. And once Bumo was on, Bumo and Tony back was just it was like Harlem Globetrotter style of football. Yeah. They were just taking the piss. Yeah. The straight the stupid volleys, the mucking about, all the stuff about it. And you're like, oops. But they kind of like Man United just collapsed on themselves in this game. They couldn't get out. Like, it was so, so weird. Like I was, I was watching one, one period when like Martinez like got his caught under his feet and he just punted it into Tony's chest from it was, just, oh, I'm trying to think collapsed. it was so weird and, and I'm like Brighton played well through the press today but next weekend's Liverpool Man United mm. so even if they do rest everyone for Sheffield United you get them fresh against Man U yeah that's true it can't like I know I know obviously they've just had the FA Cup when and so forth, but Liverpool are on this now, and you, you, you got to go in on it. And it's this game made me look, game week like 36, 37 is a long time away. Um, but the idea that for me as a 35 wild carder, I'm going to sell all my Liverpool assets, and then what I'm going to do is buy Triple Man United for their double right now. Feels scary, insane, <laughs> insane. Some might, some might say, some might say, insane. Um, especially, with, I mean, that double has got Arsenal in as well. Like, that's the stupid thing about that. It. I mean, Newcastle could be like four four. Yeah, when you but when you when you see like a wild card really work this week, I'm like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> It's going to work as well when I'm going in on this team. Um, and and Tony, I mean, Tony could have got 20 odd points here. It's, in, it's madness that he didn't, he didn't haul so big. Um, well, they each had yeah. a, they each had a turn at hitting the bar, right? And the post. Yeah. Boomer was and, back on it just like, just and like the old times. Goal, which would have been. And the offside goal. Boomer to, to Tony. Yeah, it was, it was, it was unlucky, but. Brentford were brilliant. Um, Man United really, really, really struggled. Um, nah. That's that's it, really, isn't it? Yeah. That's it. Back I to... Think, I, I wouldn't rush to sell Tony if you still got him from 29 onwards. Just keep him. The yeah. run's good. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, just a quick reminder, if you're watching on YouTube and if you're live with us, make sure you drop a like on the video if you enjoy what we're doing and if you want to help us get up to 10k subs then hit subscribe see more of us um we are i'm in the works of planning to do we're planning like a live podcast we've said this before but I'm actually might be planning a live podcast it might be a hungover podcast it might be a hungover is, deadline stream this podcast. is one of these things that if anyone sees the making of these things is is that i say to adam let's just do this and he's like we can't do this <laughs> and I have no idea whether he can or can't do this. But then I know that his brain stuck. His brain doesn't like the idea that he can't do something. So from that moment onwards, he'll be working out how he can do stuff. Perfect. Yeah, you can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I am trying to work out how we can do it. But Perfect. trying to work out whether we do it on like Thursday when I arrive or when we arrive um, in, yeah. in Newbury for the golf day. You said do it Friday, like pre golf, which I said I just said flat no. Um, <laughs> Probably optimistic, yeah, that's beyond optimistic, mate. Um, but I think, yeah, I think maybe the Saturday morning, which will be the deadline, uh, we might sort well, of deadline first ever deadline stream deadline stream it. 
just me the and you in person just chatting over deadline stream of all time we won't be yeah <laughs> we're, gonna say, we're not gonna be drinking because we've got to drive on that day um but well we might not be drinking, but we might have to take tactical breaks throughout. The- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could be fun. I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be in person, probably in a hotel room. Um, Crypto Block Dan will be there as well. Do we need a third microphone? Probably. Probably. Uh, okay. Still half pissed live podcast. Sounds like a plan, lads. Yeah, exactly. It's all fun. Um, let's yeah. move on because we need to get through these games. But yeah, we're planning Villa that. Wolves. I said I'm planning that. Yeah. Wolves Villa. Um, bit of a meh game. Obviously, Diaby gets the goal in the first half, and then Konza scores. I mean, he said he didn't mean it, but I just love the finish anyway. Yeah, we take it. We take it. I was so happy with Praz. I know like, most people didn't have, like Praz. Obviously, he got him in for like the twenty nine wild card and stuff, and like tried to got him in early. Then he got injured and all that stuff. But yeah, Praz rolled him out and. Uh, yeah. Smashed it, but and that's big in a week like this. Really big, really big. But in terms of the game, I mean, it's a bit smash and grabby. It's a bit smash and grabby at home, like to get out XG by Wolves. Um, but Wolves haven't got the goals, have they? Like even when it's still missing Cunha says coming himself, back. isn't it? Like he was like, well, if I had Neto, Kuna, Wang, Bellegard, you know, on the end of some of those chances, we probably have scored some. You know, if I, if I had my days. players fit, <laughs> it might but you haven't. But you haven't. Yeah. Um, and he said, interestingly, before the game, he said about Kuna, he said he's been training. It's my decision whether he comes like off the bench or whether I start him or whether I start him on Tuesday. So it was like almost like a assumptive that he would be starting by Tuesday, which then made it surprising to me that he wasn't even given any even... minutes. Nah, but then it, I mean, like it's a it's a decent fixture for them to get a run out, I guess. Burnley, but then Burnley yeah. have a Burnley play a very like strong possession game at home, so it's yeah. not like they're going to have a lot of the ball. So I guess like his immediate start is going to be, you know, counter, 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 and obviously people Tough. are looking at him for thirty four. Yeah, but also like if we knew he was playing this week. So if we can go Crystal Palace next after this one, but if we look at this one, because as a cheap striker, a lot of people are going to wanted that cheap striker. So Watkins out, raised three million on a cheap striker. Kuna was the perfect guy because he's got Burnley this in midweek, and then he's got West Ham at home, then he's got Forest, and then he's got the double of Arsenal, Bournemouth, and then moles into Luton straight after it. Even yeah, so even it's quite nice. It's lovely. It really is lovely, but it's whether you trust it now. But the there's not second enough, option. There's not enough to go off to say that it's not a good pick, though. Unless I mean, I assume he starts. I I think I'd still be tempted to do it. I I think I would still be tempted to do it because the second option is Mateta at that price. Oh, so you want me to find Palace? Hold on, there you go. I'd yep. like to find Palace Forest to move into that one. Yeah. So we're, we're doing the previews whilst doing the reviews at the same time. It's like some form of. It's like Memento. You definitely haven't seen the film Memento, have you? You you like Nolan? Yes, you like Nolan. I do films. like Nolan. So I, I think I have seen Memento, but there's nothing in like I'm terrible with film. So thinking it's brilliant that you can't remember a film that's about a guy that has only has very short term memory. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> it plays backwards through the games to do stuff. So we're we're like this is like the the, the, the pod version. Um, one of my favorite films of all time. Um, Wolves, um, as I say, have those fixtures. Palace have Bournemouth away. Then it's Man City, Liverpool. Then it's the West Ham, Newcastle, both at home, double. And I, I've been so impressed with Mateta. Like, I thought it was brilliant against us, but Van der Ven was even better. Um, I, just, I just really like the guy. You know, he's a right handful for everyone. The finish was fantastic with yeah. his goal. Just so confident. He's just like, he was already off. He was already off. See you later. I'm just going to push that in and go. Um, but it's like you need to have that eighth attacker. So someone like me with Garnacho, I'm like, do I want to play Garnacho home to Liverpool away to Bournemouth? I could, but I don't really like it. Um, 
Whereas you much rather level up that midfielder and then take yeah. the take the hit on the price. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. I think I think I think uh um so I think if you did it and then you then can like he's playable this midweek against uh, away to Bournemouth, obviously. But yeah. would I want to play in the City of games? Not really. Um and then the other, you know, like that eight for Tacker for a lot of us. I'm kind of looking at one of these Palace midfielders because at least he's almost back. As he's there, yeah, they're useful. Um, but he's doing a good job. He's doing a good job, Matessa. You know, if it looks like he's firmly ahead of Edward um, in it. But would you be surprised because Palace aren't really playing for anything now? Would you be surprised if midweek he rolls out Edward because he wants he wants. Mateta for the home game against yeah 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 he wants minutes in well, he wants minutes in Edward as well just in case obviously he gets yeah. any injuries and stuff but yeah and then he and then he's got then he's got Mateta pack as more of a handful you know the physical presence that yeah. he'll need him for home to Man City I wouldn't be hugely surprised um but yeah I like Mateta but I think I would still take the, the risk on Kuna and then there's Chris Wood. Then there's Chris Wood. I mean, how many how many goals? It's not goals. How many points has he got in the, like the last four weeks, or five weeks, or something like that? It is and then he's home to Fulham. Crazy. He's home to. Oh Fulham, no, it's just the last two weeks. It's just the last two yeah, weeks. But... I mean, the finish from Chris Wood's fantastic. Again, both strikers' finishes are brilliant. Mate, he's a good striker. I've 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 said it you for years, him mate. For many many I've said years. It for years, mate. You've had Wood for many many years. That's why I've got two kids. <laughs> um, where do we go? <laughs> where do we go from there? Uh, we can go wherever you like, mate. Uh, well, we put, let's just go back to Tottenham. Yeah, I just need to work out which game it is. I think it's that one. It is. Um, so obviously we concede a really sort of lazy chance in the first five minutes, and then we just go and pure just bash the hell out of them for. Uh, the rest of the game. <laughs> yeah. Um Yeah, I thought I thought Werner was good, albeit he did Werner things. Son obviously very yeah. unlucky hitting the post both posts. And then, just... and then Brennan comes on and just changes the changes the game completely and we just we just dominate even more. He's just he's just got more to him than Kulisevsky. Just it's just the pace more than anything that just gets him round oh. the back. He's so good at that. For sure. For sure. Like, I think it's been really clear that Kulisevsky's best position is central. Yeah. And I actually think we're in a position at the moment where Madison versus Kulisevsky is more of a conversation about who should be the central playmaker, really, um, at times. Because I think the winger shouldn't be a question. It should be Brennan and Timo every week. Um, because as, as ridiculous as... Timo can be in terms of the lack of end product it's perfect having Timo when you play Brennan because he gets round and Timo gets round and yeah. Timo wants to come onto his right foot Brennan's cross, Brennan's cross is normally low like he's there for it their own goal is it's like just it, a product of it isn't it it's just a product of just it's like it's, it's not even too. anything he's just a, he's just there right Timo Werner could be anyone in that situation like anybody but because it's Timo, he's in and around that place. And because Timo doesn't have to touch it in that scenario, it's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then even the end goal, I mean, Sun does so good at the start of the, start of the goal that he scores. Um, but that but layoff is just insanely good. I, I, could, I didn't even see that that was available. Like, it moves so quickly. I don't so know how quickly. he sees it. Um, but again, you know, Timo Brennan, cause issues, getting in, in, in amongst it. And it will create space for cutbacks to Sun. Like it, it all works for them. You know, the one thing Sun hasn't got is that physical presence for the centre backs. But if you've got wingers that are going to occupy up high, it just makes more sense. So I, I, I think we just have to play Brennan and Timo every week at the moment. Um, and then like if Maddo is struggling a bit with something still, because it, it's definitely not quite right. It's definitely not. Mm. Full on, play, play Maddo for seventy minutes, and then if Brennan or Timo are struggling, you've got Kulusevski for that. If Maddo's struggling, you've got Kulusevski for that. 
we've got the options at the moment. We've got everyone fit. Mm. You know, Richarlison knocking on the door again. Um, we, we've got we've got no excuse but not to play the players that want it the most at the moment, and we need the points. Um, and we've got to make those points. Like these next two, well, these next three games for Tottenham. We've got to win them all. West Ham, Forest, Newcastle. We've got to win them all. A draw like, is not good enough. Like we literally have to, literally have to win them all because, yeah, you know, being no, we've got we've obviously got the Chelsea game in hand against uh, Chelsea game in hand on Villa, but if we don't win those three games and we have to go Liverpool, Arsenal, City, Chelsea, Newcastle, yeah, well, no, Newcastle will be one of those three that we need to win. Um, then, like, because we because yeah, we need them sort of banked. <laughs> Yeah. We, we need them banked. Obviously, we've got Sheffield United on the last day of the season, so that feels cool. I mean, like if we need to win on the last day of the season, like we had Norwich when we finished above Arsenal, right, yeah. for the Champions League. Like, that's cool. We have that fixture. That's great. Um, I mean, it is helpful, obviously. Like City play, Villa play City this week or Tuesday. Yeah. So that's good. Then they've got Arsenal. Um, so they've got, I mean, and they've still got to play Liverpool as well. So there's still fixtures there that, can cause them problems, but yeah, Tottenham need to win the next three. If you were wild card 31, free hit 34, who would you go for from Tottenham? Because you kind of need to set up for it. Um, I still don't like a defensive option. I'm, I'm still I not there. So no, I don't at all. But, I mean, obviously you have Sun, but I think Madison is obviously, uh, I don't say a non-start. The, the problem is, is Son is the only one that's nailed. Mm. This, is the, this is the problem. Son is the only one that's nailed. So you do want more than one Spurs asset, but I think you have to wait until those doubles come up because if Brennan makes his, you know, Brennan sort of locks down that role, that spot, from a 90 minute perspective, but Andrew might just see this as like, look, you know, I need Brennan Johnson for 45 minutes to come in and smash it when players are tired, etc. And then you'll just play Kulu on the right there anyway. And you'll just do that and just farm he him out. He off his return at the moment. Like, I just think, I, I, I would, I would do Son and Brennan. I, I think Brennan's, I think Brennan would be the one, but I just, I still feel uncomfortable mm. about minutes. Yeah. Brennan would be your eighth attacker, wouldn't he? Yeah, I don't even know how much he is. I mean, I haven't looked at him, so About I don't even know how much he is. 5.9, something like that. 5.9. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Because again, it's a midfield slot where there are a lot of good midfield slots. Because if, you, if you're talking about would you have Cole Palmer or Brennan Johnson, I mean, it's not even a conversation, right? Yeah. So, um, question FPL Bruno 18 says, is selling Sun so wrong? And I think you've probably got the same issue as I've sort of got with Foden selling, is that selling Foden definitely can backfire. Like, if yeah. he plays home to Luton... And and it and he plays home to Villa. Crap, <laughs> like, yeah. that's horrendous for me. Like I hate it. But you'd be the same in hating selling Sun. Like like West Ham. So West Ham and Newcastle are two of the next three. Is two away games. They have now both conceded over fifty goals and fifty xG this season. That's mad. Mm. That's that's mad. <laughs> like like um. How do you sell it? How do you sell it? How do you sell something before for those games? And I, I, that's the position I'm in. I very likely am not going. No, I'm not going to sell them this week because I'm going to sell phone instead. Um, but I probably do have to sell him in 33 because I've got to try and set up my 34 team. And I, because it's going to be leave me 0, 0.0. The only way I can make any moves, I think, is because is by releasing some money from Sun. Um, but yeah, I think if you can keep Sun through these next three, um, fantastic. Do I think it's as important to have Sun as I think it's important to have Salah? No <laughs> shards. Yeah, yeah. So do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like you're not, you're not, you've not sold Sun. I'm buying Salah. Salah. You're buying Salah. I'm buying Salah, and Son is the only way to get there. Exactly. I mean, there's like so. the the only other alternative, I guess, would have been doing like Cunha instead of Darwin. But like, do I want? That's that. In fact, thinking about it now, having already done the move, well, you could have done Kuno and Maddo, couldn't you? I could have done Kuno and Maddo. Yeah, for uh, sorry, no, Kuno, Kuno Salah for Maddo and Watkins. Yeah, you've done it, haven't you? You've but I've done it already. So 
it's <laughs> it's, what, it's, what, it's what it is. It's what it is. Son's out. Son's out. Back in thirty-five. He's just yeah. taking a rest for me. Taking a rest, mate. Taking a rest. Um, yeah. Do, I don't. I don't like the Spurs. I, I've got to play Poro now because Gusto's injured. Um, yeah. I don't particularly like playing Poro, but I'm gonna have to. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how we set up against West Ham. But you know, the, it's a game where we always concede. Where else again? We've got to get through these. Yeah, Sheffield United, Fulham. This was fun. <laughs> Muniz. Good old Muniz. I mean, he scores, but he, you know, like, even like he has chances earlier on in the game as well. He's fantastic. Um, Pellini scores the easiest goal, easiest header he'll ever have. And that's because like Sheffield United are a bad defence or whatever. And then if you want definition of smash and grab, like look at this from like the 55th minute to the 70th minute. It's just like, it's just like three bang, big bang, punches. Bang. Three huge yeah. punches. Um, it's almost like, I almost felt like Fulham didn't think they could do that. So they were like, well, okay, they won't do that. <laughs> yeah. And they did. They scored three goals. Um, yeah, yeah, mad. But yep. I guess you, you're going to expect this from, I mean, look, we're not picking either of these players anymore. Like, full stop. Or we never were with Sheffield United. Nah, like, Moon is still obviously dirt cheap and he's brilliant. And, you know, again, do I think he's a perfect eight attacker? If you, for example, I like the idea that you would have Diaz instead of having a cheap fifth midfielder and you went Muniz rather than Darwin. But you're yeah. still going to bench Muniz every week. Yeah. And that's tough because he will punish you. He's, um, he's class. He's class and he's cheaper than all the other guys we've mentioned. Yeah. Um, so if you if you're happy to do it, and then then as I said, get someone like someone like Diaz as 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 a midfielder, or you fancy going like, for example, both the Chelsea, uh, the both the Palace guys in thirty four. If you're like wild carding, can do all those type of things. Great. Yeah. Wouldn't yeah. bother the Mooners. Don't get involved with the rest. Still keep targeting Sheffield United. Yeah. Hence why hence why we're bringing in double. They're the only ones week. really as well. Not like Luton like. Put up some fight. They did put up some fight, and oh. to burn Burnley Chelsea. Then and you say put up some fight. They didn't lay. They didn't lay a glove on Tottenham really, apart from the one chance. And they just sat there and just got pumped. Yeah. Like the fact that we didn't score more goals was was a, you know, the fact that we have Son that rolls it along. The, I'm going to go back to Tottenham here, but the fact that yeah. Son rolls it along the line, hits both posts, and then Brennan Johnson literally has the goal that was yeah. ruled out by goal line technology that's closer than anything that's but ever been seen. I mean, they've got so could have been five. Luton. So many injuries. So well, yeah, yeah target Luton. Luton. Fine. Target <laughs> Luton, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Um, Chelsea. Target Chelsea? Target Chelsea. I mean, I, I can't believe these... Uh, I, I can't... Well, I, I can't believe that they've conceded two goals here. It is, it is honestly just ridiculous that they've conceded two goals here. How on earth? How on earth? Um, this is one where, obviously, I... I landed and just saw the final scores. So two all, and I was like, "Oh well, that's just stupid, Chelsea." Um, uh, and then I didn't look any more at it, you know, because I was then travelling back, and then I got back. I watched um, some of the Avila game, and then I watched the late game, um, and then I sort of caught up match of the day and stuff. And and then I was like, "Hold on, I had a man sent off. Yeah. What? The, what? How? How?" How, how did they concede two goals to Burnley without a man sent off? I just don't understand how they how they concede the chances. Like, like, like. There's no there's no way that there is literally no way a team that's serious about making any kind of European challenge should have anything other than a flat line against a promoted side that are down to ten men. That line should be flat from from literally when it happens when Palmer scores that goal. That line should be flat, like zero chances, maybe yeah. one. But like really zero. It's it's quite embarrassing it's actually. They, yeah, they let that happen. It, yeah, and Petrovic for the. I mean the lot. I mean that's proper lettuce hands, and it's like it's weak. <laughs> it's proper weak. Um, if you wild carded and you played, if you played Anana, um, you played Petrovic over Anana, and you watched that, you'd have been sweating. Especially yeah. when Anana was just you know. I'm, I don't, I don't know, but I'm assuming that Anana would have been pretty high on the old bonus with with um, oh, before that late goal. Yeah, had to have been, had to have been. Um, but yeah, like I say, on the Palmer thing, if the penalty's not given, 
who knows where we end up in this game. Um, yeah, but, yeah. but but the penalty is given. He's the penalty taker, and he's so damn good at them. <laughs> he's so good at them. Yeah, but certain teams are good at it, though. They are, certain teams are good at getting penalties. Like Chelsea are really, really good at getting penalties. The wingers know their job is to get penalties. So Mudrić, the second the hand goes up, he's going to make a decision, and the whole crowd's involved in it, and they're all over it. That Brentford, you know, game against United. Brentford know they're really good at penalties. So every single touch, it was like, it's a penalty. None of it was penalties, but they did it. And we're going to come on to, in a minute, the Newcastle game, and we'll have the same deal. Like, there are certain teams that we always in FPL talk about, we want the penalty takers. But what you want is the penalty takers from the teams that really want to get penalties. That's why Bruno was so good back in the day, because the likes of Martial and Rashford were just trying to get penalties all day long. Like... Um, that's why you got Sal. Well, it's not the only reason you got Salah, but like Liverpool just used to get penalties all the time. Yeah, so you just I mean, used to cap Salah every week. Being... Yeah, yeah. There was a couple of times actually today, Salah, where I thought he could have gone down and didn't, and I was like, weird. <laughs> um, uh, but but this team just go for it. So Palmer will continually be in our thoughts. Do we get the capped? Wait, you also. Yeah, that's an interesting one, isn't it? Because it's going to be a Tottenham double against uh, a Chelsea double, but we'd have to, even with us, we're going to have to captain Palmer, aren't we? Uh, in 30... Yes. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah, yeah. Against you think of the Tottenham? Top... Yeah, probably. Because we <laughs> because we give away penalties against Chelsea. Like And West Ham just uh, gave away two penalties in the last, against Newcastle. So... Yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to captain him in 36. That's disgusting. Oh my god, are we going to have to captain? <laughs> are we are we going to have to captain against Tottenham in thirty six and thirty seven? Are we going to have to captain Harland? And oh no, I don't think we have to, to captain against... Harland in thirty seven, do we? Fulham and Tottenham, maybe. Oh, oh please tell me there's a better set of fixtures there. I'm captain. Oh no, we can captain. We can captain Palmer again. Forest and Brighton. That's fine. Palmer, Palmer. Don't, 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 don't be price biased. You can, you can and captain him. Palmer in thirty eight. Or, or you can captain Son Heung Min against Burnley and City at home. Because you said it. Son scores against City. That's what he does. You said to me though, he's just flat track bullying. He's he's full Mason Mountain, and we've got Sheffield United in thirty two, and we've got Everton at home in thirty three, and then we've got the thirty six, thirty seven, and thirty eight. Like, can we just captain him in five of the last? Seven game weeks. Well, you're going to captain Son in 38. Like, that's a given. Yeah, fair enough. Damn it. <laughs> um, although, although, although all three promoted sides are at home, aren't they, on the last day? Yeah, they are. Nah. That's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burnley at home to Forest. Luton at home to Fulham. Sheffield United at home to Spurs. Final games. Maybe you just captain Haaland against, against West Ham. <laughs> maybe that is. or even like Saka against Everton anyway that's way into the future um, okay well, so Palmer sure. good Gusto injured is it, there's nobody else from Don't that team right now near him for now for now for now um, well I mean, like, Sheffield United that fix is just there isn't it nah, uh, anyone left yeah so quickly we can go on to a Bournemouth Everton yeah we, I reckon we might be in trouble of losing the keepers here soon you've got right so you'll be okay and you're not gonna play him at 34 but no I, i'm not convinced that like we've already got the netto talk out there like he still keeps doing them over this wasn't good again hmm. gave a goal to his almost namesake <laughs> netto. i mean i did get it um, but i was just i just thought that was terrible but carry on it's terrible it's terrible um, even Beto's looking at me like, "What are you doing, boy?" Um, <laughs> does he not look just? But, does he not just look absolutely massive in here? And I'm talking like a big guy. Like huge. he, he's just a monster big. Yeah, he looks big. He's just wide. He looks big. <laughs> he's a big unit. Um, obviously, I'm happy that Solanke scores. Happy Solanke scores. Lose the clean. That's what it is. You keep Solanke. You just keep Solanke. You don't go anywhere. Near him, do you, I don't even like again that Zavani one of do you play him if you got him? I don't even know you do. I don't even know you do. I mean, like, who else are you going to have at the back? 
you're probably going to have yeah probably you probably just pay your Arsenal and your Liverpool right there's, if just you, if you've got it now there's going to be someone that plays the Barney and benches Harland in 34 it's going to happen yeah maybe maybe it's going to happen but yeah Neto see. keep fumbling I don't, I don't know I, I, it wouldn't surprise me um, and Ariola obviously goes off injured. injured as well. I've got I've got Neto and Ariola. I could in midweek that I could suddenly have no keeper. I mean, I don't. I mean, like who who's coming in to replace Neto though? Who have they got? Like, Travers. Travers. Jesus Christ! Surely they've not. Got someone else. They've definitely got someone else as well. Surely not. Hold on, Neto. They've got Radu, Travers, and Randolph. Radu. Radu, yeah. I've heard I've heard things about Radu. Radu is potentially is the one. He said something like, "I don't like to call anyone my number one keeper," but he's captain in he, Neto, so you, you yeah, hope he does keep it. I but... think I said this with Pete actually. I think he he said it as like every place has competition, and everyone just yeah. went, "Oh shit, that means the keeper position." Yeah, and I think he was so... talking more about next season. I think he was talking about next season, but it's one to watch. Yeah. One to definitely watch. Okay. Let's finish up with the first game of the game week, which was Carnage. Absolute Carnage. <laughs> like Gordon's come off this with like eight points and people going obviously he's gets suspended for a game and his yellow cards go back to eight now, I think. I think he did it on purpose. You know I like to think about these things. Maybe. So so he misses midweek. He but absolutely shattered. Shattered. Right? So he's on eight yellows. He's got a yellow, so he's now on nine yellows. If he gets another booking in the next, across 31, 32, 33, he would get a two-game ban, as opposed to he gets a booking, gets Maybe. another booking for the descent, which means he only has a one-game ban. Which means the only way he then gets the two week ban as well is he'd have to get two yellows a in a book row. in in thirty two and in thirty three. Yeah. I reckon he might have Ramos did. Do you remember Ramos did it just to get like? Oh, oh yeah, there's a few. There's a, there's a few. There's a few that have done it. I was just having a quick look to see if it was like his birthday or something like that, but that was last month. I'm not. You know, he might have done. To home be fair. to home to Everton, his old team. It, that's your birthday. Home to Everton, his old team. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Why not? Just, just take so that week off. He's going to miss home to Everton, his old team, and then he's got to worry about the two game bet. Yeah, nice. No, that I mean, next level IQ. That I, I am fully calling. He's done now because he didn't even seem pissed off. He did the old, <laughs> just went off. Yeah. He looked surprised, didn't he? I think the first, like initially, I think it maybe. Maybe yeah. it's fake. It wasn't a foul. It was like, I'm just going to kick the ball away. Oh, Ref, you were like, ref I kicked the ball away. Just in case you didn't wonder, I kicked the ball away. <laughs> kick the ball away. Book it. Oh. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> I'll see you in a week. I reckon, he, I reckon he did it on purpose. That's a good shout. I like it. I like it. Um, anyone in the chat disagree? I don't know. Maybe. Um, smart um, if you did that, to be fair. Yeah. We, Big brain move. Smart is the two... Smart as both the penalties because they're penalties. They're yeah, penalties. I'm just I, I but, just remember back to uh, was it who who was it was it Serge Aurier kicking D no Liverpool player some who was yeah, it Mane. was it Mane? Oh yeah, Mane, yeah, yeah. So it was Aurier kicking yeah. Mane. It was the same thing. Like if you get yourself in a position where a player is going to kick you, yeah. Like that's the precedent is that you're going to give away a penalty. It's so stupid. Yeah. I, I I hate that. I'm but, so irritated that we now have, like, I can understand pre VAR that you didn't have this in there, but now you have VAR, like, we should be much worse than divers. We should, and VAR should intervene and say that person dived, book yeah. him. And they should also, there should be a rule that says if a player has deliberately put themselves in between the person and the ball with no attempt to play the ball just to try and get that, to initiate contact. That it's the same as diving because it is the same as diving. There's yeah. no difference, it's particularly particularly as 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 it's obviously it's blind, right? Normally, the obviously the defender is blind yeah. to what is happening. They don't it, see the player coming. There's no reason why the player would just kick it otherwise. 
He's got no, he's got no interest in playing the ball. He's just trying to, I'm going to get myself in between that. You're going to kick me. I'm going to go to, like that first one. The Why camera was it not even on offside? His face. Oh, it's because he's cleared. So it's the next phase of play. Ooh, do you remember last? I hate that. But do you remember last season the thing with Mings and Mod- Rodri? Do you remember the ball went over the top and Rod and yeah, Mings yeah. as a Rodri he- header? Cle- he, he cleared it, but he sort of spooned it, and Rodri was miles offside, came round to get off him and scored. Um, but I don't remember that. Okay. As soon as you try attempt a clearance, then it's the next phase of play because oh, you're in control when you've tried to do it. So he can't be offside, and it's that's ridiculous for it. Um, because he's come just, from a blind position and then just got fouled, just as you mentioned. I, I just... Uh, Saying that. I, ju- I really hate it, but Isak's good Isak's at pens. insanely good at penalties. And he got... It's cold as hell. Yeah. I, I mean, I wonder... Barnes, what, how many goals could Barnes... Barnes could have had, like, five, and he was only yeah. on the pitch, like, 20 minutes. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I think it's a different story if Ariola's on the pitch. I don't know whether Isak takes a second penalty, whether he goes there again. Maybe. Maybe he just yeah. does that. Um, That's a good point. Actually. Obviously, having Fabianski on the pitch it helps gives Isak the second penalty. Uh, no striker loves taking a second penalty against the same keeper. I can tell you. Yeah, that. it's a really good point. I was just thinking it's impressive to score two pens, but I hadn't I hadn't considered the fact yeah. that it was against two different keepers. <laughs> yeah, two different keepers. Um, yeah, and that obviously the the first goal is decent from Bart. The second goal is just ridiculous, though. I like it's ridiculous. out of this world, ridiculous. But like Newcastle still get massively exposed. Like Antonio. Obviously, just just runs off the back of him. The yeah. the um, the Kudus goal is a bit odd for me as well. I don't I don't get why they can just play on while a player's down injured. I know it's a bit of a. Oh, that's just wrong. That's just wrong. Yeah, I, I think VAR can't overrule that the referee's been a dick. I don't think that's the thing because <laughs> that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, he's, he's just been a dick. To be a dick. He's gone. Like, Do you know what? I'm not going to acknowledge it. You've got a head injury. Carry on. It is so stupid. I mean, wh- whatever people say, whether he, I mean, there was, it was, it wasn't really a touch or anything like that. But the player's down, right? You, you just wait until the player gets back up. Like, and I understand if the, if it was a continuous, like, let's say the free kick hadn't been given and the game carried on. Obviously, he doesn't have to stop it there. But because yeah. he'd stopped the game, you've got to let the player get up. Surely, it's, it's disgusting. <laughs> the it's centre just, back. Just, you know, you don't, you don't see the old PGM or, or apologies anymore, do you? Like you used to see him, but you don't see those anymore. Like, you know, do, do they think they're getting everything right? Is that is that what's going? Is that what's going like, on? When, when was the last time you saw one? Like we Liverpool Spurs, week, right? like there's a million things wrong. I don't think I've seen one since then. I think that is it. Yeah, but that should be. It's it's disgusting. Yeah, it's r- ridiculous. Um, um, Bowen's Bowen, like Bowen's Bowen, because could have Bowen Paquetta on a pitch, and Antonio's on it. Like he he could have well, like those four are fun, but when yeah. you play all four of them, it also means. Your defence is, yeah. <laughs> is crap. You've got no, you've got no the, protection. It's almost the best form of attack for both these teams, isn't it? It's almost the best. Like, Isak, Gordon and Barnes, as everyone else just keeps getting injured in the defence, I'm like, well, this makes them better. Hmm. Like, if we end up for those last four game weeks of Sheffield United at home, Burnley away, Brighton and Man United and Brentford in the last in those last four game weeks, like, if we end up with those... I might go free. I don't know where I get all these players from to do it, but Gordon well, Barnes. You've got wild cards. You can, you can, you can potentially yeah. make that happen. I can't do but that. But you want some of it, <laughs> don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I feel. I think for me, like an, a Darwin to Isak feels quite straightforward in 35, yeah. for example. Like that feels that feels really easy, assuming he's still fit. This is assuming he's still fit. Yeah. So let's hope he is still fit. And if Wilson's back, I don't know whether he has to share minutes. Surely not. I mean, these guys—they don't—they don't have any other games to play, right? I'm going to Bukayo Saka to Harvey Barnes. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait. <laughs> oh, I love it. I Mo love Salah. it. Mo Salah to Anthony Gordon and Bukayo Saka to Harvey Barnes. What love can it. go wrong? I love it. Let's 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 um let's move on. I think we've done all the teams, so let's just double check. So we did Bournemouth, Everton, we did Chelsea, we did uh, Palace, we did uh, Sheffield United and Fulham. We've done Spurs, yeah. We've done Villa, we've done Brentford, we've done Liverpool, and we've done City versus Arsenal. So I guess we should just move into the moves that we're going to make for this week, and we'll we're start... going to make. We'll start with the moves that I've already made. <laughs> we'll start with the moves I've already made. So 
I have parked Gusto on the bench because he's injured. And I have yep. brought in Salah and Darwin for Son and Watkins. And as you say, I'm not selling Son, even though I am. I'm actually just buying Salah. And it's, you know, I would probably prefer Darwin to Cunha in that in that scenario. Um, I don't love... Of course. Yeah. Because Liverpool are miles better attack. It's still Liverpool. Yeah. It's still their best number nine. Yeah. Um, so I have Raya... Uh, Gabriel and Saka, they all come back in. I know Saka, Saka's a bit of a weird one though because he obviously hobbles off at the end. He hobbles off every time that he gets Yeah, but it's Luton, ever. right? It's Luton. So it's Luton at home. If there's a game where he doesn't need to play, it's probably this one. Yeah, it's true. I know they have to win every game, but if there's a game he doesn't have to play, it's probably this one and they probably win 4-0 anyway. So yeah, but... if we don't, then Go I get gone at you against Chelsea, which it yeah. is what it is, right? Um, Gabriel, Van Dijk uh, and Richards um, Saka, Madison, Salah captain, obviously, uh, Palmer, and then Solanke, Harland, and Darwin. Pretty comfortable with that. Four point hit. Uh, it's the first hit I've taken in a while, actually, I think. So, but I'm still like 850k. Um, it's going to be slow now for me because there's obviously chips coming into play from everywhere, free hits and wild cards and stuff like that. And I've got to build towards a 37 bench boost, I think. Um, these moves yeah. I was going to make, even if I was going to potentially bench boost in 34, but Neto, like, you know, the Neto doubt is still, is kind of there. And I don't know, I feel like I'd need to make a a, a keeper transfer. Because if I, if I bench boost in, if I bench boost in 37, I definitely don't have doubling keepers. 100%. Yeah. But I probably have better doubling outfielders, which is probably more important. So that's where I am. Uh, move on to your team. Yeah, so uh, I am. I need to do it after this because they're going to go up in price. Um, but uh, I've got Neto in goal, Ariola on the bench, um, Poro, Gabriel, and Saliba as my defenders. Uh, Gusto and Kabore are my defenders on the bench, and I don't want to play either of those. So I'm hopeful that all of those guys play. Um, <laughs> <laughs> then uh, I'm going to bring Mo in for Foden. I'll have Saka, Son, and Palmer. So, same for him. Well, it's not the same for him for in everyone's midfield because I'm trying to use as much. You know, I've got good value. And I'm trying to use every inch of it, really. Um, done you I've Saka, done you a disservice here, to Son be fair. Because I haven't, I haven't moved the captaincy, so I've done you a disservice on the on the expected points because it looks like oh, that's okay. I'm going to get more expected points than you. But That's okay. That's okay. Um, and then I'll have Solanke, Darwin, and Haaland. So, it's a minus four for me, too. Um, Watkins and Foden out. For Salah and Darwin, same as you. I like Garnacho first bench. Kabore probably second. I'll probably just stick Gusto, obviously, in front of Kabore in the hope that somehow it's okay. Because I'm not sure we'll get anything about it because it's a Thursday game. Um and press conference might be Wednesday. Um one of the things uh, I was talking to Zoff about it earlier to say if you heard anything or seen anything and he hadn't heard anything, but what he did say is there's quite often news if there is something happened, you know, and the fact that there's no news might mean that it might be cramp, might not be that bad. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'll just leave, I'll just leave him, leave him in front of Kabora and hope for the best. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think that's us, man. I think that's us. Um, let's go to this view. Been good having you back. Pleasure. It's good fun. It's good fun. Uh, whether we do, so I'm not sure when the next pod will be. Only still because I've got still family up here, and Thursday evening could be a bit awkward for me, in truth. So may not do one ahead of game week 33, uh, 32. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I could probably, yeah, this is us planning diaries that we haven't had a chance to catch up. With. I don't think I can do Thursday night either. So, oh, okay. Well, we'll just sack um, that off then, and we'll see you next Sunday. <laughs> yeah, I can probably do something on Friday, maybe. Okay. Maybe, maybe early evening. Okay. Um, there's a question in here, uh, and I haven't looked at this. I was always tempted to look just now. It says, no away team has won in the last 19 Premier League matches. Who was the last team to win away? Wow. Is that true? 19 in a row, 19 games. What does that cover? That covers game the last 10 games, so game week 30, all of game week 29. So it would have been in game week 28. 
So it wouldn't have been Bournemouth yeah. Luton because that's the last game. No. So there were four games before. <laughs> us, us, us against Villa. Oh, four nil. Yeah, got to be. I suppose it could be. Yeah. It's got to be, isn't it? Do we play in twenty eight or twenty seven? Twenty eight. Okay. Yeah. Us okay. Villa. There you go. Done. Nice. Done. 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 Beautiful. Done, done, done. Um, so. those who can't play sports says, do you think Vardiol or Akanji would be a good option on world card building towards free hit 34 bench boost 37 I think we're saying Vardiol Vardiol yeah definitely yeah um, FPL soccer crazy he's saying is Watkins definitely out we don't know um, obviously taking off at half time but he said he could carry on is what Emery said yeah um, but they said they ain't taking a risk I'm sending him for a scan today no it's come out but they didn't think it was serious um, but you know it's a it's two bad fixtures in the next three anyway. And then he doesn't double rest of the season. It, and it's money to free up. Just, yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, would you bench Foden on Miniz next week? I suppose, we, I suppose we are sort of taking questions for game week 31. 31. So Forrest. No, Forrest. no, I still like the matchup for Foden. I really like it for Foden. Okay. You go Miniz. I, I don't know. I'd go Miniz. I think I'll go Miniz. Forest at home, all right. They still concede. They still concede. They still concede. They're probably a little bit better, but they still concede. Um, Cool. Let's leave it there, man. Let's leave it there. I say family, so oh, I need I to get gonna, this all sorted. Or We're doing... I am going to do... I'm going to do a... Mr. Southerns has managed to rope me into doing a pod on Wednesday. The Forest pod that he does. I don't think he's on it. But I've got to go on and do the Forest Tottenham preview. I think I'm doing that Wednesday right. evening. Okay, yeah, that's game. So game week 32. Okay. Yeah. Tell them about our love of Brennan. Sounds good. I especially love that we got him cheaper than we needed to. Or yeah, I mean, it looks great at the moment. Yeah, don't yeah don't don't, looked... don't bring up don't <laughs> don't bring up the fact that we bought him two months after we we uh we could have done and then, and as a result they got deducted points. I'm gonna compare. Brennan to Mo Salah on that pod. The sale. Amazing. Can't wait. I feel, I, f- I feel like he's playing very much like a young Mo Salah. Hopefully you can add some more goals. There you go. We'll leave it at that. That'll do. Cool. Thanks to everyone in the uh, in the live chat this evening. And um, no tech issues tonight. What a win that is. Um, well, so yeah, make sure you hit a uh, hit the like button if you've enjoyed it on your way out. Hit subscribe if you want to see more from us. Um, as we say, we're planning for a live podcast deadline stream type thing um, coming up to... That'll be in game week 34. But yeah, if you want to catch Baker this week, Forest podcast to do a Spurs versus Forest preview. And good luck with game week 31. We'll catch you later. See you later. Cheers, mate.